Police in Tunisia have arrested three prominent officials of the main opposition party hours after detaining its leader and raiding its headquarters. Police say a Nahda leader, Rashid Ghanoushi, was detained for questioning on the orders of the public prosecutor. Ghanoushi is a main opponent of President Kais Saied, who has been accused of orchestrating a power grab after he suspended parliament in 2021. Well, Yusra Ghanoushi is the daughter of detained, the detained Anahda leader. She joins us now from London. Good to have you with us. So, first of all, do you have any word on the status of Rashid Ghanoushi? Is he just simply taken in for questioning or is he under arrest for something? Well, since the coup, my father has been interrogated nine times, summoned for interrogation for which uh, he willingly... Uh, presented himself uh, uh, nine times for flagrantly uh, politically motivated and fabricated charges. But this time, uh, the coup authorities chose to raid uh, my parents' house at the time of breaking the fast on the 27th night of Ramadan. Uh, uh, a hundred plainclothes policemen raided the house, uh, half of whom... Uh, went in uh, and prevented the lawyers from observing the search. And after searching the house for two hours, they took my father for interrogation. Uh, they could have simply summoned him, but uh, he was taken and, uh, and lawyers were uh, uh, prevented from joining him for interrogation. Uh, and we were so, not given so any So has he been charged? Do you know if he's actually been charged with anything this time? Uh, lawyers have not been given any information officially about the official charge, but we have heard reports in the Tunisian media and the uh, interior minister yesterday uh, stated that uh, my father has been arrested because of statements he has made. And just now the public prosecution issued a statement uh, alleging that my father uh, made uh, provocative uh, statements uh, and that he had said, uh, misquoting his words, that he had said that the eradication of Islamists in Tunisia would lead to civil war, uh, whereas uh, the statements, which were not in a leaked video, but in a live uh, Facebook feed from a public meeting at the National Salvation Front headquarters, where he was talking about the National Salvation Front's success in bringing together uh, political parties and uh, intellectual trends in Tunisia in opposition to the coup, where he said word for word that imagining Tunisia without any, uh, with it, without this or that group, without Anahda, without the left, without Islamists, would be laying the ground for civil war. Uh, uh, so uh, this is clear uh, misquoting and misrepresentation of my father and, and a new uh, attempt to demonize the political uh, opposition to the coup. This is part, this is in the context of the witch hunt uh, against not just Anahda, but all political parties and all civil society organizations that have been standing against uh, the coup by Qais Saied and who have been calling for a restoration of Tunisian democracy. Right. Since he was taken, there have been three other members of Anahda who have been arrested. Are you concerned that all of this is simply a, a prelude to perhaps shut down Tunisia's, you know, one of Tunisia's largest political parties? We fear that this is possible because since the coup, we have been living uh, without the rule of law, without any respect of rights and, and freedoms. Uh, uh, and uh, not just uh, Nahba, but as I have said, all critics of Kais Haid's coup and his power grab and his uh, failure to uh, manage the economy, to provide any solutions, to take Tunisia out of its crisis, and his insistence on taking Tunisia back to a dictatorship. Anyone who criticizes this is a target of Kais Saied's uh, repression, whether it is Anahda or anybody else. Uh, and we do fear that this is uh, an escalation of the crackdown on the opposition. And we believe anyone who believes in democracy and human rights around the world should clearly uh, and explicitly condemn this uh, persecution of the uh, opposition and this systematic dismantling of Tunisian democracy. All right, thank you so much, Yusra Ghanoushi, there. Thank you.